The unique, raspy voice of spiritual music group Second Life's lead singer, Burn, is the perfect match for the heartfelt songs and lyrics they've become known for. The goal is to inspire people with their music and message. Now, the alternative approach and captivatingly beautiful interpretation of the songs on their new album, combined with Burn's velvety voice, are the perfect ingredients for a product that is going to make waves in the South African music industry. Now, uh, Burn uh, Bunzaya joins us now to share more on the album live. Very good morning to you, Bun, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Great, thanks for having me here. Now, uh, you and Liesl, you make such a, a perfect combination. So how did this uh, the duo come about? I know she's a writer and you are the singer. How did this come about? Yeah, great. Um, we are husband and wife, and um, she writes all our music, and um, our group is called Second Life, and we inspire people and motivate people with our music. Like the song that I just sang, um, it's all about everything is possible in life uh -huh. and you must just believe in your dreams and that is what Second Life is about. Wow, wow. Let's talk about the first single titled Life. Who composed the track? What is it based on and what is it about? Okay, the, the track Life is um, based on all the questions that we've got in life and the things that we um, aren't sure of and the things that we stressed about, the uncertainty of the future. That's what the song is all about and it's about uh, the questions that we ask and the answers that um, are given to us um, mm. as we go through the journey of life, mm. the adventures of life, yes. Okay. And now the, the transition from Afrikaans to English, why did you make that transition and how did your fans accept it? Or did they? Um, yeah, some of the fans, we've got some Su uh, Sutu and Zulu fans as well. Um, I think they, they're still in two minds about it, but the Afrikaans fans, they accepted the Afrikaans music, but we're still going to stick to the English uh, genre and the Afrikaans genre, and we'll still um, entertain people from Mamelodi. Oh, and so Tindisa. you're not turning your back uh, totally on Afrikaans? No, never. Uh, we had some great um, times with the people from Mamelodi and um, Tembisa. The, their spirit is alive. Yeah. Yeah, they, know re they really know how to party. Mm. So did that in any way take away uh, the sound and the style of the, mu of the music? Yeah, the style of the music is still the same. Um, all that we do is we just uh, change languages. Okay. So um, Second Life sounds uh, the same in Afrikaans, English, or even if we um, put a bit of Kwaito in there, um, it sounds the same. Yeah, it's a spiritual message. It uplifts you, the music. Yeah. So Lizel, as the writer, uh, what is it that she considers in writing a song? What comes through her mind? What comes in your mind when you guys uh, collaborate on writing a particular song? Yeah, if Liesl uh, writes songs, she takes trapped emotions uh, like an artist and she puts it down on paper. Uh -huh. It's like someone with a paintbrush. You take all your negative emotions and you um, <laughs> let, let it out on paper. And that's what we do as musicians. We take trapped emotions and we... Um, put it out in musical notes and that's an escape route for your emotions. It's like a psychiatrist music. Mm. Even as a music listener, whenever you feel down or on a Monday morning, you don't feel like going to work, press play in your cause, uh, CD player, and you will feel alive. Yeah, music is a And the language. end result is fireworks. Yes, and you will feel alive again. Just play your favorite song. That's the secret about life. Yeah. Now, the calling for music came to you at a very early age. Take us through that. How did it come about and how did you transition through the ranks of becoming the superstar that you are today? Oh, so I had a dream when I was five. I wrote a book. It's uh, The Boy That Sings. When I was about six or seven, I wrote this book. Uh -huh. And a dream started and I learned in life, uh, when you believe in your dreams and you must just keep on persisting, your dreams can come true. And uh, life is like a brick wall. You have to chisel a brick every day. And um, if you believe in a big brick wall, you're really going to have to chisel to make that brick wall come true. Jeez, man. <laughs> and uh, was that obvious to you at, uh, at that particular age that music is what you'll be doing for the rest of, the, uh, of your life? I mean, going as far as studying music at the TUT? Yes. Um, I, I knew that I won't become a rugby player. And um, <laughs> I had a dream to become a musician. Um, and, you know, it's just um, amazing how life treats uh, people with believe yeah. and I'm sure that the rest of South Africa if you've got a dream to become a, a poet or a dream to become uh, the most famous chef you know, just keep on persisting and dreams do come true if you sure. never give up that's that's proof where do you normally perform 
Our perform at casinos, uh, that's where we've got mixed crowds. So we've okay. got lots of um, Sutu people, Zulu people. Um, yeah, uh, that's where we can get, uh, yes, get, get to see you on stage. We've got Afrikaans people, we've got English people. So um, um, I specialize in mixed groups okay. and I cater for South Africa um, as a whole. And I've also got a new song out. It's called uh, Rienburg. It's called Rainbow in English. Oh, right. And it's about all the different colors that are part of life. You can't take away purple. You cannot take away um, white. You cannot take away right. gray. You cannot take away black or blue. So life is like a rainbow. Everything forms a rainbow and mm. it's together. Um, it's a Simonier feeling. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and quickly, where can you get the hold of the album? Um, you can find it on iTunes, the album. Um, just type in Second Life. It's 2-N-D-L-I-V-E. Okay. Oh. No, sorry, it's not live. It's L-I-F-E. -E. I made the mistake. <laughs> yeah, so it's Second Life. That's no, okay. Um, it's all about your second life, your second chance in life. And you can put in there, everything is possible. That's what the album is called. Okay. Fern, all the best, my man. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, they plan to build on this success with a brand new Afrikaans offering called Live. Many thanks uh, to Bern Bonzea. I can't explain it, but I'm trying.